Hello students, welcome back to our class of DVMS. On our last classes, we have already discussed about ER diagram or entity relationship diagram. And also, we take some example and solve them. In just last class, we have also seen what is an enhanced entity relationship diagram. Now in today's class, we are going to discuss about normalization. This normalization is another very important factor in any database designing. Now, if we have any business plan or any requirement for any DVMS, then we can go for any DBMS solution that can be expressed by ER diagram. But after this ER diagram completion, we will reduce repetition or the redundancy of the tables or the entities that we design in ER diagram. And that will actually help us to solve certain anomalies in any database designing. So, if I say that what is the formal definition of any normalization, then you can say that normalization is actually a process that efficiently organize your data and it will remove the anomalies from your database relation and also it will help to reduce the redundancy of data in any DBMS. Now to analyze any database and to normalize them we also must have the knowledge of functional dependency. Now what is functional dependency? Say we have any relation like this capital X arrow capital Y then we say that this attribute Y now what is this X and Y if we have a relation R where we have these attributes X and Y and we also have this relation that is x arrow y then we say that y is functionally dependent on attribute x this y is functionally dependent on this attribute x that is x arrow y now when you will say that this y is functionally dependent on x now if for each and every attribute of x, there exists exactly one value of attribute y. I am again telling you, if for any value of x or for any particular value of x, there exists exactly one value of attribute y. Okay? Then we can say that x arrow y or x is uh, or sorry y is functionally dependent on attribute x. Okay, clear? So this is the concept of functional dependency. Now when we will analyze any database for normalization, we will check whether it is normalized or not. And if it is not normalized, then what is the problem in this normalization? Now, there are several normal form like first normal form or second normal form, third normal form, fourth normal form and BCNF or Boyce Cod normal form. Now, first I am going to discuss about first normal form.
और दस नंबर फॉर और वन एन एफ ओके ओके नो व्हाट इज वन एन एफ से आई हैव ए रिलेशन लाइक दिस Okay, now this represent DPT a department and this column represent faculty okay now I'm writing them like e dash team of the Excuse me. I just wrote the faculty name there. It will be my department. Computer. And this is MS department. Okay. Now I'm writing the faculty name. It's like the others. Yes, right. Can you see? Okay. Okay. Now, this may be some college or maybe some school or any educational institution. Now, this institution has two department. One is computer, another one is English. And these three faculties work in this computer department, and these two faculties work in English department. Now, even though this is a valid data, but this data cannot be represented in a database because this is not correctly normalized this is actually not in 1nf or in fast nf then why it is not in 1nf because 1nf said that uh, we cannot have duplicate column for any table see now in this situation if we make it like this this is our computer department i'm removing it i simply write like this computer Computer and computer and for the scaping English. Then this is a normalized form. Now this table can be represented in a database. Okay, so this is called one error. So if we have any situation where a particular field has more than one value and against that we have only one value then we can break it down or decompose uh, it in such a way that for every one value at uh, this side we will have only one value at this side okay this is called one array on the next classes 
we are going to discuss about the other normalization form okay thank you